Today, our focus on the ventilation for the market control house. We will discuss the mode of the ventilation and we will discuss with you that our courses is the ventilation is a environmental control ventilation ventilation for the environmental control poultry house so our course is focused on the ventilation and also poultry management next we are launching the barrel brooding management and the layer brooding management and the digital brooding management so uh, here we discuss the basic of the ventilation our this session three and the php2 class this is not page one page two class so uh, we will uh, brief them that uh, how and why we ventilate and what is the mode of ventilation, what is the phenomena of the ventilation. So it's very important. So uh, we are from Haiko. I am Imran Kayum, uh, CEO of Haiko Poultry Houses Consultant. I am also Poultry Houses Consultant since 2000, yes. Uh, I did a lot of projects, uh, millions uh, of layer cages projects, millions of layer floor projects, millions of products projects, millions of breeder projects, and a lot of uh, external and internal electrification projects, and uh, so, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yes, thank you. So, I thankful to my Allah and my teacher, Mr. Vernal Grandman, again, and in my all and every presentation, I acknowledged, yes, yes, I acknowledged my Allah, my God, uh, thanks to Allah, and my, my boss, my teacher, my first teacher since 2000, yes, from 2000, we did a uh, double story four house project in uh, APK and Mr. Vernon Berman came and he start he start did first time in Pakistan at the time and uh, I learned a lot yes even now also I visited uh, in Germany also in Denmark Sweden a lot of countries uh, Bangkok uh, especially exhibition, uh, uh, we work together, and uh, yes, I learn a lot. Thank you very much, Mr. Varun Gentleman. Uh, you're watching this, I know. Thank you, sir. So, ventilation. Uh, we will, I will discuss you that the ventilation, the board of the ventilation, and what is the ventilation? Why we ventilate? The main phenomena. Today, my focus is that we will. Uh, Discuss a little bit about the mode of ventilation and uh, the tips of the ventilation and so, 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 blah, blah, blah. But main, my focus is that for entrepreneurs, for the doctors, for the students, that why we ventilate and what is the phenomena of the ventilation. Yes. So, uh, you know that, uh, normally you should know that. Uh, the ventilation, the winter ventilation, the other primer based ventilation, and the second is side mode ventilation, and third is transitional ventilation, yes, yes. And uh, the other is uh, So, so we will uh, we discussed uh, uh, we will discuss with you, but uh, the my focus is that I will uh, uh, tell you that the ventilation phenomena. Yes. So the picture you are now you are watching this picture that the side moon. And the uh, minimum ventilation is also side mode ventilation, but it's a timer-based ventilation. Uh, 
uh, yeah, you keep in your mind that the timer based ventilation. And the sideboard is also ventilation sideboard and main ventilation, the air comes from the inlet, yes. And but uh, at the main ventilation, the your fan runs on the timer base, and in sideboard ventilation, the, your fan runs on the thermostatically based. Yes, that's very important. Uh, the main ventilation when outside temperature is below than your house. The sideboard ventilation when the outside temperature is is parallel or a little bit. One, two degree, three degree, yes, three point five, four degree, yes. This side more ventilation. So you must remember that if your house temperature is more than three point five or four degree temperature centigrade Celsius, you should stay in the side more ventilation. You take the air from the inlet, yes. After that you will go to the turn up, yes. If you have no environmentally controlled computers or climate yes. <coughs> so uh, you uh, should take uh, in your mind yes that the side mode ventilation and the uh, minimum ventilation are the same but the main difference is that we will uh, we will discuss you the Yes, I, I discussed uh, on the, now I am discussing on the side mode rotation. So, how it will happen? Yes, this is a question. And uh, what is the LPV? Yes, LPV means, and what is the negative pressure ventilation? LP, LPV presents the low pressure ventilation, yes. And negative pressure we are using in our new control houses uh, is an active pressure and mechanical base. Yes, our houses are the uh, base working on the negative pressure base ventilation, and uh, there's a mechanical houses. Yes, environmental control houses nowadays. Before 80s, yes, there are the commercial forms. Uh, they use the positive pressure ventilation. The fans installed outside of the house, and they bring the air from outside to inside of the house. And uh, the natural ventilation is used mostly. And now the air, the air <coughs> comes from the inlet and exhaust from by the fans of the house. Yes. The now in the negative pressure ventilation, the fan start exertion and then create a vacuum and house is already uh, very uh, tight and closed so uh, so uh, if you open a little bit the inlet there are a lot of you show you look that a lot of air and air speed with air speed come into the house yes if at this time one or two side panels are working yes uh, mostly it depend on the house uh, dimensions yes so Look here, the inlet and the air comes from the inlet outside the house, from the inlet and head to the center of the house. Yes, look the color of the, yes, it's a cold air, yes. After that, it drops to the floor of the house. So this phenomenon is called the Wiener Contractor Effect, yes. You think that, what is the Wiener Contractor Effect? So we not going to effect is that effect that when the air comes from the inlets and it draws this distance of the house and hit to the center of the house, it will mix with the warm air as the house. Yes. And when it drops the temperature and the air temperature is the same, the house temperature. So this is the effect. So uh, there are a lot of questions people asked me that in Pakistan and outside of the country that why we ventilate in the winter? Why we bring the cold air inside the house? Yes, this is the question, the general question, yes.
So that phenomena we use that we bring there more than 1,000 feet per minute. Yes, and it will cross this distance and hit to the center of the house. Don't drag. It will come down from the middle of the house, from the center of the house. Yes, I am telling about the minimum relation phenomena. Yes, and after that. Because at this, at this time, only one or two fans are working on the timer base. But in the sideboard, when the next one is the sideboard, this is the sideboard ventilation. Sideboard means we will bring the air from the inlet continuously. Yes. When the outside temperature is parallel with the house, or one, two, three degrees. Yes, plus. So this is the main thing. So this is the main phenomena that we use the winter ventilation and we bring the cold air in the house. So uh, next uh, I will show you the smoke test, uh, the pictures of the smoke test. Yes. And also please don't miss the lecture of Sunday, Mr. Hadi. Yes, Mr. Mahdi. Mr. Mahdi Belgare. Yes. Uh, he's a consultant. His poultry house was consultant for 19 years. He did also, uh, although we did 1,000, 2,000 plus, but he did at that time 2000 houses he completed, yes. He's a ventilation, yes, doctor of ventilation, ventilation engineer, yes. So we will, he will show us that. I ask, ask them that that our, our that seminar, that webinar will focus on the smoke test and the leakage of the house test. Yes, this is very important that because before, because the environment control house should be airtight, yes, it can save your electricity your ventilation cost and lot, lot, lot. Yes. So this is a smoke test. We do the smoke stick. Yes. I can. And we will use it inside the house, but mostly we use outside of the house. Near the inlet. You look, the air comes from the inlet and at a desired air velocity, more than 100 feet per minute, and it center of the outer it drops. Yes. So this is the main phenomena of the ventilation, minimum ventilation, side mode ventilation. And after side mode, when the house and outside temperature, the house temperature is four degrees, three to four degrees of your target temperature, your system, and if you have no system, what you do? You will shift your house in the tunnel side. You will shift your air. You close your inlet and your air come from the bad side of the house. So. This is a bad cooling pad side of the house, yes. After that, your, it looks like this, yes. It's very important that, and here you stay two, three degree, one degree, two degree, three degree, yes. It depends on the uh, breed and frog. And after that, you start with cooling, bad cooling, yes, thermal cooling. So there are five modes I told you that earlier that one of the uh, minimum ventilation, Time based ventilation you should keep in your mind that minimum ventilation is, a, is the winter ventilation, is the time based ventilation. The second is the side mode ventilation, and in both the minimum and the side mode, we choose to bring the air from the inlet. And after that is the transitional, transitional state of the side mode ventilation and the terminal ventilation. Yes, at the time the inlets are going to the shutdown position and your Tunnel door or tunnel curtains are start to opening. Yes, the air comes from the pad, and after that, the, that that is called and it shifts. And when the inlet close, you your shed look like this. Yes, and after that, uh, if uh, the pressure is not uh, proper, you should you should use the cooling. Yes, and at that time, that's called cooling ventilation. So there's a five mode. I told you there's a five mode of ventilation. So this is our main lecture. Thank you very much. I will take your question. Yes. Thank you very much.